air dribbles. A mechanic that is both a gateway and a symbol of advanced mechanical skill. Despite being able to do them decently, I never really felt comfortable teaching them or making a tutorial about them when there are monsters who are able to do stuff like this. So today, I decided to invite one of them. This is Impulse. He has over 3,000 hours clocked into the game with many, many of them dedicated to hitting shots like these. We believe that anyone can air dribble and hopefully, with some of our tips today, you'll be well on your way to mastering yours. There are four main parts to an air dribble. First, we have the roll, which brings the ball towards the wall. Second, we have the setup that launches the ball off the wall. This is arguably the most important part of the whole process. Third, we have the first touch of the air dribble. And finally, we have the air dribble itself. We're gonna focus on each part individually and I implore you to be comfortable with each step one by one before moving on to the next since each step relies on the part before it to succeed. All right guys, so step one is rolling the ball. Before we can set the ball off the wall, we need to get it to the wall, right? So Impulse is gonna start with teaching you guys how he likes to roll the ball towards the wall for an easy air dribble. So first, just with the roll up to the wall, you want it rolling pretty fast, and you wanna like back up so that you have a bit of space in between the ball so that it rolls up, up the wall. So you just wanna back up a little bit and then boost into it and hit it. So what happens if you don't give that gap? Like, why is that gap necessary? Um, well, if you don't get that gap, especially in a um, limited boost environment, if you don't get that gap and you just do something like this, you can risk going above the ball and then actually pushing it downwards, sort of, which is useful sometimes, but for the most part, if you just want to go for a regular edge ball, it's a lot easier get, to get like a good angle on the ball, if, like get below it. Uh, next thing. So when do you slow down to actually give yourself that gap? How close to the wall are you before you slow down? Well, let's see. You slow down like around just um, about this distance away from the wall. So you have, a, you have a fair amount of distance in between it because you want to slow down and then get like enough gaps so that you kind of speed up into the ball. You know, slow down around here and then bang it in. Right. So I noticed you're about a one car distance. So like one or two car distance from the ball before your first touch. Uh, when showing people air dribbles. I see a lot of this happening, where you tell them that they need to roll the ball up the wall at a pretty quick pace, and then they end up doing like this. So what is the best way to prevent accidentally doing that? Yeah, you might want to like jump on it or something, so that you can actually get it just moving straight. Um, and just rolling. Instead of just like, if it's rolling towards you and you want to go up that wall, then... Like it's already in the air, and then you have to do a catch and then you have to do this. It's a lot more difficult than just um, just jumping like at the ball. Jumping or flipping into it. So, to quickly recap, the key to a good roll is a fast ball, a gap between yourself and the ball as you get close to the wall, and a ball that is properly grounded. If you ever notice your air dribbles aren't high enough, it's because your rolls aren't fast enough. Try adding more boost to get more speed prior to creating that gap because once you create that gap, you can't give the ball any more speed. Once that gap is created, your goal is to catch back up to the ball while matching its speed in order to prepare for step two, the setup. So um, with the first touch off the wall, right, after you've gotten, you're dribbling it forward, you get your distance in between the ball, then you have to hit it off the wall. Uh, so basically the way you do that is um, you want to hit it square on with your nose. Basically, if you're hitting it, like imagine this is the wall. So you want to hit it like exactly in between the two headlights of a breakout or whatever the equivalent is. You don't want to hit it with like the corner like that. It's either corner. You want to hit it straight on just so that it goes straight forward. So you want to get a decent amount of power on it. Um, there, so it does about that. And you also want it going in the um, general direction of the goal. So, so that it already would at least bounce to the goal without you hitting it. So like, see how that's like on the trajectory to go to the goal more or less. The only thing I could really say is if you're like in an in-game situation and it really matters, um, and this makes it easier in unlimited boost as well. You want to go more at a horizontal angle when you're like toward the back of the wall, so that you can use less boost and it's a lot easier to carry it over to the 
goal and when you're closer to the goal like um say i'm setting up to orange right here you sort of want to go like um almost straight up to set it up so that affects how you're rolling it as well because you're going to be rolling it more sideways or more upwards depending on how far back you are to better show the angles you want to take when hitting the ball when you're near the center you want to hit the ball at a roughly 60 degree reference angle Whereas if you're further back, you want to use a more horizontal 45 degree angle. And anywhere near the enemy net, you'll want to be a lot more vertical, somewhere around 80 degrees. If you can master the setup, that is the most important part to an air dribble. Everything else will kind of just fall into place. So remember, for a good setup, you'll want to always hit with the center of your car, use the gap to get a fair amount of speed, and hit it at an angle based on where you are on the field. Yeah, once you get the setup, then your first touch, the ball's like going away from you, sort of, and it's a it's a fair amount away from you, honestly. So you wanna um you wanna feather boost up to the first touch. So like right here, I'm feathering it, and then I'm holding down um. You'll notice that on the first touch, you wanna kind of hit the bottom of the ball to set yourself up for sort of holding it up for the remainder of the air dribble. So once you get the distance in between your ball and your car, and you hit it head on. You want to hit it head on on the first touch as well, after feathering your boost, so that you can actually catch it and keep it close to your car. If you notice the ball getting too far away from you on the first touch, it's probably because you're not feathering enough and you really want to try to match the speed of the ball on the first touch in order for it to not pop too far away from you. And now you've finally made it to the actual air dribble. If you've done everything right up until this point, you should be able to just hold down or feather your boost to complete the air dribble itself. Just remember, you'll want to keep pointing your car towards the bottom of the ball in order to keep it up. Yeah, so once you've, um, once you've got good setups and once you've become consistent with that, that's the hardest part of air dribbling. So once you've done that, you're well on your way to hitting air dribbles. Once you get the, um, once you pop it off the wall, then you want to feather your boost up to the first touch. And then after the first touch, you can hold down boost more, but you don't want to hold it on like all the way or else you'll run out of boost. Um, at least typically. So like you can hold down your boost pretty much all the time after the first touch, but the first touch is really important when you feather. Alright guys, and that's going to pretty much be the end of the tutorial. A huge thanks to Impulse for coming on and showing us his tricks. If you're not already subscribed to him, be sure to check out his channel. He posts amazing shots regularly and a link will be in the description below. Now just don't forget, the best tip we could give you about hitting your air dribbles is just making sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the both of us if you enjoyed the content. Okay, but for real, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch y'all next time.